On a September day in 1915, Willie Milne began walking. He walked east from a farm where he worked near Karen, Saskatchewan. His destination, Moose Jaw, about 40 kilometers away, to enlist in the Army's 46th Battalion, then recruiting men for the war in Europe. We don't know exactly why Milne joined up, patriotism, adventure, a trip home to his native Scotland, but on his solitary walk along that long prairie road, he no doubt had time to contemplate a future in the trenches of what was already a brutal and deadly war. Milne trained in Moose Jaw. He went overseas in 1916 and was transferred to the 16th Battalion as a replacement. He soon found himself in the middle of the Battle of Vimy Ridge, intended to draw German troops away from an attack by French allies. On April 9, 1917, in appalling conditions of sleet and snow, enemy machine gun positions held up the Canadians' advance. Milne crawled on his hands and knees to within throwing distance of the machine gun crew and, with hand grenades, put the position out of action. Later, he repeated the feat with another machine gun point concealed in a haystack. He was killed shortly after. His body never recovered. For this act of bravery, Private William Johnston Milne was awarded the Victoria Cross, the Commonwealth's highest award for valor in battle. He is commemorated on the Vimy Memorial in France, in his hometown in Scotland, and more recently here at home with a monument in front of a Moose Jaw building that bears his name. A memorial also stands at the farm where he first began his heroic journey.